Hey, it's Mike. Welcome to the channel. So guys, today I'm going to show you a little bit about forms in Jira service management. So yes, we actually carry on our mini series dedicated to Jira service management or Jira services. Sometimes people still call it like this. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to show you, but most of the most important, I'm going to give you a reason why you should start using forms right now. I hope after I just, just watch this video, but I'll show you, you know, how to start, how to configure it, how to add it to the request types. And, and also we're going to cover that little caveats about forms because it's important to cover, but as always, just to let you know, in the description, you're going to find a link to uh, my paid and free services. We offer from 30 minutes to six hour consultation. Maybe you need, I mean, maybe just sometimes, you know, I've got clients who just need like 30 minutes, uh, talk to just to just, you know, just to make sure everything is in the right shape or you need maybe a training for you or your team. And also you've got a brand new training course dedicated to GIS service manager. So if you need the help with forms with JSM, why not reaching to us? More information is going to find in my link tree in that including uh, that 30 minutes discovery call, which is, which is free. All right. So now let's go back to the video and like this, I'm going to first show you, of course, forms, but first I'm going to just want to maybe a little bit encourage you, you know, uh, why you should use it because we recently got a, um, we, 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 we took a uh, work with, for, for, for a client, which actually been helping in implementing G joiners, levers, movers into GSM. And yes, I am actually in the middle of recording that video. So very soon should be, should be live on the channel and, um, clients actually very happy, but he actually came back and says, look, Mike, you know, looks like we have a, another issue because, um, we use a JSM almost exclusively for our, uh, to support our internal clients, which is actually, let's say pretty, uh, large number of users about, about, you know, let's say about 500 between let's say one zero to, to 1000. Yeah. And, uh, Work, it works fine. We spend so much time on the portal. We just, you know, tweak the, tweak the request times, but it looks like people ignoring them and it looks like people are not happy about them, you know? And I asked him, cool, but the question is, are you actually using forms in that request types? And he says, no, because we've been thinking this is some kind of gimmick and I don't think it's actually right for us. <laughs> just like, you know what? Okay, let's get do it. Let's get there. I'm going to show you something. And you know, this is this is why I'm going to give you this few reasons because there's many, many, many actually reasons why you should actually use forms. But one of this really, really great reason is you can create something as we called dynamic forms. So it means and 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 they're free. Yeah, they're free. Even if you're using, I am actually at the moment using a free version of JSM, uh, which I will be upgrading to, to premium in like probably a few few days. But you can create a dynamic request based on the answer, what people write, what I'm talking about. And, and, and this is like that only one way how you can build this without an extra plugin. So it means in a very simple words that, for example, like me is my, my lab. If you would like to maybe merge those four, uh, support requests into one, absolutely it's possible. And they could be built on the fly when people actually start answering questions. Let me show you how that works. Yeah. So for example, we've got a very, by the way, this is actually forms as you can even see, um, most of your, of your, let's say clients, you know, users probably even want to be able to notice, you know, we, we, we've been, we've been using forms and, and additionally, they don't care, of course. So look at this. We have actually, instead of asking them, uh, please provide the more details. It will be, please provide what's the, what's the issue. I should probably word it a little bit different, but just, it's just for a demo. So look first. We've got order. I've got so many questions. People asking my can, can how do I add order? You know, uh, we, we, we've just like popping in uh, another, another field. And this is the answer, you know, forms got ready. That's, that's building into forms. Why? Because if I put other, there you go, you've got another option, but look, if I'm going to go for VPN, you know, obviously it's a demo. So I don't have actually that many fields over there. Uh, you can actually fill the information, but in the moment when I say printer, yeah, I should probably move this. Yeah. That's, that's a mistake because I should move this. I, sh so next question should be what printer type. And if I've got inject, you know, it could be actually another question asking like, you know, maybe specify a model. I, 
again say sometimes people discovering this and just going too crazy with this so again be, be, be careful and additionally forms only support up to this two levels of so it means you can actually have multiple um, as we call this dynamic dynamic actually sections but you can probably see how quickly and and how efficiently you can you can merge some of the existing requests yes there is there is potential caveat to that i'm going to cover this by the end of this video but obviously with with so many advantages that that small 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 issue with with forms is is nothing yeah because i've got actually few few extra for especially especially if you are if you are using a gsm as, as the admin yeah so let's now go into the into the forms yeah so where we go yeah there we go and i'm going to give you a few more reasons which surprisingly surprisingly people are still not even aware of that so another massive massive reason of using form is if for example like this you've got this so by the way yes i should probably like change it somewhere somewhere here yeah yeah there you go uh massive massive benefit of using form is let's say you know we have this uh question that that, that actually the type of the field it's a drop down but if what if uh, let's say your boss approach you, you know right this does work really well can you change it to radio there you go you know using forms it's literally one click yes with that little caveat i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about this very very soon but you can imagine how quickly you can change the issue type it's almost on the fly and in the moment when i save it that's it <laughs> there's nothing else what you need to do and if you've been maybe using jsm before you know that uh if we if our project GRI service management is using actually company managed projects so using custom fields you know I'm, I'm sure you know that uh, changing actually custom fields in Jira type is is not possible for the moment maybe we can redo it later but you need to of course you know rename the old just called all or whatever you know just start creating new fields and again you know i i actually sometimes sometimes i've got a i've got a client saying mm, you know we, we we changed the decision again you know so you have to do it you have to do it again so now we know that is actually possible and you can do it very very quickly another another really good um good good reason of using forms obviously is to um, as you can actually see that, that the form is is the fully dynamic editor so it means it supports even images or even videos i've got actually one client has my mic we've got a little bit complicated form yes we build them it works really well however th th there are some specific questions and sometimes people are confused so is it possible to just add the information i said look maybe we can actually quickly record a video and and uh, just just let them know you know and it works really well and i know it supports a lot of uh, formats like youtube uh, vimeo that's what i've been using and loom i'm not 100 sure about vimeo i think vimeo is, is fine but but youtube and and loom no problem uh plus you know all all this all this um forms could be there is a way better control of it yeah so for example i'm talking about of course the response is required which is a little bit different presented on the screen and we've got something like minimum or maximum characters of words if people are filling a form and sometimes like you know you want to skip something and just put dot yeah so yes you can say it must be let's say in the description minimum five words yeah why not if that's the case of course another really important reason of using forms they cannot be shared with multiple request types but you can actually copy them so this is what i do sometimes i just craft a form looks great uh, and next i'm just gonna go into the quickly to the form and copy and just just adjust it yes uh, yes there's that, that, that little little small issue when we talk about uh, linked fields we're going to cover this in a second yeah and of course forms could have a little bit different layout yeah so if for example i like i like the the, the classic one yeah so for me still i, I just can't get used to but i'm just going to show you now you can have a as, as i call the split screen or for example three columns if you if you want to do it yes yeah, sure and, and I'm, I'm not saying don't use it because some there will be some cases which you which you definitely want to use it but you know i still prefer if i build a form the request like this uh, in a classic that i call this waterfall method okay so now very quickly uh, where we can actually find these forms uh, so because there is few ways how you can start with them and of course if you go to the project settings uh, you're going to navigate to uh, form like that in the middle yeah and as i told you they can be they cannot be shared 
but it can be copied yeah so you can actually very quickly very very quickly copy and what how to start obviously there is something like 200 templates at the moment a lot and some of them i would say they are okay but in my opinion i personally do not use them that much however yes if sometimes i see something which maybe i can use it i'm gonna actually use it and tweak it just you know for 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 my needs however most of the time most of the time i use actually i start from blank form and you know just gonna go like the most zero zero two i think and we can actually start adding forms right there so like name there you go uh paragraph for example uh, details yeah yeah and of course you know if i want to maybe 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 now i'll just just sometimes i need to just get maybe i would like to add attachment no problem and even 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 as i told you from the from the very beginning uh they are supporting assets i don't have actually gear premium do this i can show you but that video is actually coming very very soon so uh, obviously just just you need to name them like for example if i can spell it of course attachment there you go and you're gonna say this another massive massive actually benefit of using you've got a live preview of them you can actually you can you can live preview just just using one one click and when your form of course is built now i can go back to the request type i think it's gonna be there we go go for the request type uh, again you can add new request type or you can attach a form to existing request type yeah so like for example this one i've got a demo request if i delete that there you go that's i'm going to show you but uh normally normally i will probably hide the summary yeah but from there go for select existing i've got my demo zero two just add it save it and and then then and we can also preview it yeah so really 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 simple now guys before we actually finish let's actually see in action how that looks like because it is a little different from um from basically user and and also admin or agent perspective but not a big 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 difference yeah so for example we just need to put some some uh my quest of course name like <laughs> oh yeah the the knowledge base is working we to put some details we don't have to put out the i don't have actually any required form because this is just a very quick demo and let's do send yeah and if i could do send of course request is created however as you're probably seeing the request from if you're familiar of course with with this screen with portal you can actually see that that form is basically embedded into the request yeah and 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 with that one little little potential cover a little little issue which we're going to cover in a very few uh, seconds yeah so now let's have a look how that that is going to look like from of course our agent yeah so i think approvers are missing but we we don't care about errors i need to fix that just want to show you just we're focusing on forms yeah so form is also embedded into the into the request type yeah and additionally yes additionally there is a procedure i think by default the form is submitted um so we don't have to you know to, uh, we don't have to you know worry about this but yes it is possible if you made a mistake or or your, your client let's say you know someone who raised the ticket from the from the portal uh, made a mistake yes it is possible of course to reopen the form and um and, and and edit them and additionally you know you and also your client can download form as the pdf you just as, as the agent you will be able to of course download it as xls so now let's actually talk about this little caveat because it is important to cover so okay just 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 uh, before we finish it um forms by default by default if we go to there if we go to the form where is the form uh, i think i've lost it yeah by default forms do not have something like a linked field yeah what does it mean so in the moment when you create that request a form is like a completely um independent entity inside of that ticket so it means so so like what's the consequence there is very tiny so the tiny so the the, the issue is they're gonna, not going to be 
it's not going to be possible to use JQL to search through the forms at the moment because it is maybe I'm, I'm a very very hope that is actually coming uh, to Jira in the cloud because that's that's that I think is, is possible to do it still in a Jira data center. So it means in a very simple word, if for example, you would like to create some kind of report or some kind of stat, and if the form is not linked to the custom field, a JQL cannot extract that information. But again, you know, you can actually change it very, very quickly. However, you're gonna lose some of the capacity of changing very quickly the form and the, the well, that, 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 that field type, like I've been changing from radio to, for example, multi. Yeah, that, that's because it's actually completely different type. And if, if the field is linked, it's not going to allow you to do it. But that is just that one a little caveat. All right, guys, that's gonna, that, that was it. A little bit longer video than I planned, but I hope it was worth to watch it. Don't forget, in the description, you're going to find more information about our uh, paid services. That is from a free minutes consultation to six hours. Also, if you aren't sure, if that is going to be uh, that's going to work for you you can still book that discovery call with me so my link tree is of course in a first comment and in the description so guys that's it if you uh, like the video leave the like uh, please subscribe to the channel and i perhaps believe now the playlist about the jsm it should appear right there so see you at the next video